Hey guys, I'm kind of late getting this video, but I'm out here with Sean and his dog Niner today. We're in a private, uh, we're on a public refuge, but we're in a two-man blind. Um, birds are flying, the wind's up, so hopefully we get some action for you today. And uh, stay tuned for another adventure from Foul Assassins Outdoors. Good boy. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks to the old doggy. Got, got me a mile. Thank you, sir. Beautiful bird. See, you can call in mallards with the widgeon whistle. Yeah, you can. Okay, kennel. You made my day right there, buddy. Here. Right That's what we like to see. Nice pintail were just being pintails. They so. were, they were gonna come in. What's that? So it didn't look like they were no. gonna come in. Nice shot. Thanks. Here. Good boy. Oh, come on. Here. Thank you. Okay. That was worth a try. That was a tough shot, but <laughs> nice shot. Thanks, huh? Another hand. Good boy. Drop. Drop. Hunting with Sean here today. And he's a manager out here at some of the grasslands units. And I was wanting to ask him how you ban the birds. Yeah, so there's a couple ways. The main way is uh, set up with like hog wire. It's a funnel trap. Put chicken mesh over the top. Got a funnel that they swim into and you bait it before you pre bait for a while, get them on the corn, they set up your trap and set it so they can swim through the funnel. And once they swim in, the way it's set, they really can't swim back out because they can see it in 3D. So there's a door in there, so you go out there and they're all inside the trap. You grab them out, okay. hand them out, put them in totes. You get all your birds at once so they don't beat each other up. You just band them out in totes. Now, when you guys collect a a group of birds like that, you banned all of them at once? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, any duck you catch. The other method that we've done in New Mexico is rocket netting, where you have a slope and you set up a net with uh, weights that are propelled by, it's almost like a mortar shell kind of, so it lobs the whole net out mm -hmm. of birds. So you wait till a whole group of birds is feeding in front of the net, and then you shoot the net off of them. You run out and you awesome. pull them out, all out from underneath the net. Tote them up sit there on the shore and determine the species and the sex and the age put a band on that sounds pretty exciting yeah it's fun hey. horrible shooting by my part Oh, I saw it on the surface, and right before I could grab it, he dove and disappeared for 30 seconds. Oh, the old dog come through again. Yep. Incredible. I was pushing around there with my arm. <laughs> Those two, I knew those were behind me, so. Nice. Thank you. Beautiful. He 
here. Cap off. Leave it. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I knew those were behind me, so I was just looking at those two. They didn't give me much of a shot. Nice guy. Pretty much wasted the second shell. <laughs> well, I got the privilege of hunting with Sean today, um, our local game manager. These grasslands. Him and his dog, Niner. Great job for me. He's heading now. He just did a morning shoot. I'm going to stick around for a while. But uh, he's a great stand up guy. Hey, buddy. Don't know who he is. He's a good guy. He's taking care of our refuges. So, you see him out there. Save Sean. Give him a thumbs up. Well, pretty slow. Take this opportunity. Get a refreshment, a little bite to eat. Really nutritious. It's good for us. Hostess and Red Bull. How about that? Nice pigeon. Beautiful great widget. Well, stay out here all day. And uh went seven hours in between birds. But this nice widget came in at the last. Made it for a nice shoot for the day. Well thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure you like and subscribe to Foul Assassins Outdoors. Thanks for watching.